From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night here on Evenings LA as we count down the hours until the consumer price index number for tomorrow is released. And that will give us guidance on how much more your benefits would go up next year on top of their current rise. We'll go over that in tonight's broadcast in the big second half. But first up, more stimulus checks. The expansion of those 2023 stimulus checks heat up the first part of this broadcast. We're going to go over those incredible stimulus checks in the membership newsletter. We're going to go over stimulus checks A, B, and C. Then we'll take a break, look at that incredible membership newsletter, have you become a member. Then we'll go to stimulus checks E to K and L to Q. And also we'll go over the checks you only hear in prime time on Lite, the stimulus check R, and also the children's checks and the unemployment checks. In the big second half, well, then we'll be cutting over to the markets. And the markets had Michelle Bowman, one of that governor, speaking today about interest rate spikes. We had BIT trying to hold a resistance level and Ethereum in the crypto markets. We had a breakout coin in Barnbridge. And we had corporations saying consumer spending is really good. We'll have the latest details on that, plus the CPI coming out tomorrow. We'll be jumping in some live charts in tonight's broadcast. And of course, massive stimulus across the board. From the shores of San Marcos, California, first we'll go over stimulus checks A, B, and C. Then we'll take a break, look at that federal membership newsletter, then go to stimulus checks E to K and L to Q. It's a big broadcast tonight. Congratulations to Kansas City with your Super Bowl win. But tonight, it's a, it's the Super Stimulus Show. It's the ball of stimulus. We have a lot of stimulus to go over. SSI, SSDI, SSA, and veterans, no income. We made less than 75000 It's tonight's broadcast. It's Stimulus Live first, and then we'll go to Crypto Wall Street Live in the big second half. Three channels, three live streams, and lots of good legendless in tonight's broadcast. Become a member. Get all these incredible sums of money. Go to Stimulus Checks A, B, and C. Then we'll take a break and look at that membership newsletter. And then continue to E to K, plus the stimulus you only hear in prime time, the half million dollars, and also the children's checks. A lot of money and a lot of details. It all heats up tonight's broadcast from the shores of San Marcos, California. It's a big new show, and it all starts right now. Good evening, everybody. The big number, of course, tomorrow will be the Consumer Price Index. It will be featured live on this air. The CPI is released tomorrow morning, and I'll have it on this channel. And I'll explain to you tonight where we're likely to see that inflation. More importantly, how much your benefits will rise next year based upon tomorrow's number. Yes, this is in addition to your current raise of your benefits. But first up, let's go over these incredible 2023 stimulus checks. In tonight's broadcast, these checks are for you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. These are 2023 stimulus checks. They're law for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories. And there's lots of different checks of different magnitudes, and as we go through each of them, I'll tell you which one I like and why I like them. And some of the checks in tonight's broadcast you're only going to see in prime time on this channel. Where are they? All in that incredible membership newsletter, which is right there on the screen. News.la.com forward slash newsletter. Become a member and go into that incredible membership newsletter with me after stimulus check C in tonight's broadcast. Without a delay, let's go into these incredible stimulus checks starting right now. These are 2023 for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories passed law. I'm going to start with the first three checks, A, B, and C. These are the checks in, done by Joe Biden in spring of last year, and they're really wonderful. Really incredible stimulus checks across the board. And what are the details of them? Let's look at it right now. 
Cinema checks A, B, and C were passed by Joe Biden in the spring of last year, and they're just huge. And they are wonderful. The way that laws work is that once they're passed, they remain law so long as they're still funded. And these are still law for U.S. states and U.S. territories, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, stimulus checks, 75000 or less, Mary couple 150 It's federal stimulus from the federal government. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. Then we'll go to stimulus checks E through K from Congress. They were passed in the spring of last year. And they'll go to LQ thereafter. Without a delay, let's go to those first three checks, A, B, and C. And they're just really quite wonderful. The first three stimulus checks, A, B, and C, as I go through each of them, I'll tell you why I like a particular check over another. It's fast stimulus. And let's look at those incredible stimulus checks right now. Stimulus checks, A, B, and C, of course, are these checks that were done by Joe Biden in spring of last year. Done by executive action of Joseph Biden in the stimulus spring of last year, they're still law. The way that stimulus works is so long as they're still funded, they're still law. And I'm going to show you how to get these stimulus checks after stimulus check C. A, B, and C, passed by spring of Joe Biden in the spring of last year, are great. Let's look at those stimulus checks A, B, and C right now. Fast stimulus, 18 months, $3,000 across the board, five checks per month. Let's look at stimulus check A first. Stimulus check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. You deserve it. Go get it. Become a member. I'll go over that membership newsletter in just a second. $6,500 to $12,000. Stimulus check B is a $15,000 to $80,000 2023 stimulus check for U.S. states and U.S. territories. Same eligibility. SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. Huge for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories. Let's take a break for just a second as we're at B. I like B for a lot of reasons. Why? Because B pays the most actual paper checks, the most actual checks. It's paying on average 18 months of beautiful stimulus checks, five checks per month, about $3,000 across the board. It's a monthly stimulus check, an MSC. You did a Purple Power. Congratulations. You advocate for MSCs. You got it a law. And this is stimulus check B. It pays the most actual checks. Not the most money, but the most actual checks. And it's just really quite wonderful. It's fast paying. And people who have become members have immediately gotten approval for lots of incredible checks. And tonight, what I want to go over with you is the importance of going back in your notes and making sure you got all your applications in. Because if you didn't, or maybe they haven't processed it, or maybe you forgot to do it, I don't want you to miss a check. I know this is February. I want to make sure you got all your checks lined up. This is how Fran Mancuso did it. He became a member. See that beautiful a member emoji behind his name? It's a hawk, black with a purple background. I got check B, 18 months, he writes, Frank Mancuso in the live chat. 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet in Florida. Folks, that's tens of thousands of dollars. It could be upwards of $100,000. How many checks is that for check B? Well, it's his mortgage. It could also be a rent. It's his utilities. That could be the water, the heating oil, the electric, the gas. That could be four checks a month for 18 months right there alone. That's a lot of checks. And high-speed internet. Folks, that's a lot of checks. Why would you not become a member of just a few dollars and walk away with nearly $100,000 of stimulus checks monthly for 18 months, about five checks per month. It's happening all the time. Become a member, and that is what's happening with stimulus check B. Again, that's why I like stimulus check B so much. Paying on average, five checks per month, your water, your heating oil, your electric, your gas, high-speed internet, that's about $3,000 across the board. That's why I like stimulus check B so much. Now, the reason I like stimulus check C is it's been around as a family member of this channel for so many years. Stimulus check C is for rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. We've been doing this for three years, and we've been getting that stimulus check C for so long. That's why it feels like it's, a, it's an extended family member. Stimulus check C, how much money can you get for stimulus check C? It is for rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. And in that membership newsletter, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it for these incredible numbers for rent. Let's look at see the numbers right now. You want to aspire for 18 months, because that's what viewers are getting. You want to aspire for all your, your utility bills. So if you have five utility bills per month, you want to aspire to try to get all of them. And let's look at see what Hawks, 
Purple Hawks, Purple Powers, and Calcino VIP members of this channel are getting for the incredible numbers for Sudo Check C. $30,000 for rent. In the membership news, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places for rent to start. And utilities. The numbers have gone even higher since this graphic. It's upwards of now $15,000 in about 18 months of utilities. 18 months of utilities, five utility bills per month. How many utilities bills do you have? How many utility bills do you have? Water, heating, oil, electric, gas. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Do it. Become a member. Go down that membership news to stimulus check C. Get all your utilities bills paid for. and tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. What I want you to do tonight that's a little bit different than perhaps last week is I want you to go back into your notes. I'm going to do that in a second, what those notes are. And I want to make sure that you have gotten all your different checks applications in for February. And if you did, I want you to double check that you got paid. Maybe you got them in, but they haven't processed it. Or maybe they're waiting for something. Maybe they sent you an email and, and you're like, oh, I forgot to do this. Because this is February. And after we're done with February, we're going to do March. What a night it is. Combinations of checks. Did you get all the checks you need to get, or are there more that are available for you that you forgot to go over in that membership newsletter? Mark was at 50000 I said, Mark, go get more. He did. He went to 60000 and then he went to 100000 Then he went to 166000 Lorraine, I said, go get more. She went from one hundred five. she went to one fifty five. Dragon was at a certain number. She went to 170000 Johnny helped 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars. This is how you do it. So tonight, what I want to do now that we're go going through stimulus check C, I want to look at that membership newsletter for you as a member. And what's different tonight, I also want to go over your notes with you and make sure that you have all your stimulus in for February and double check you haven't got, you gotten it all. If you're missing something, I want you to go back and go get the remaining items tonight in across the board. So let's jump into that membership newsletter starting right now. You're excited with the stimulus. Maybe you have not become a member. Maybe you are a member. Maybe you're realizing, wait a second, I forgot some things. Or, or I never heard back from that one organization. Have I gotten paid it? Let's go over this incredible membership newsletter right now. Step one, how do you do this? You go under the video, join the channel. You're watching either LA1 or you're watching LA2 or you're watching LA3. It's the same membership newsletter for all three of these broadcasting channels in this family. Where is the membership newsletter? There. There it is. That's so simple. That's the membership newsletter. News.la.com forward slash newsletter. That's the membership newsletter. It's a website. It's the, at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of this video. And at the same location of every video and every live stream on all three of the LA broadcasting channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. Same location, and the website is live 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You want to become a member, go right into that membership newsletter right tonight and start pouncing across the board. Final last step, grab the password from the most recent post on your YouTube page that you are a member to. When I send an alert out that there's a brand new video, it'll say, hey, there's a new afternoon show airing. And then it'll say, current password. I have a, an emoji of a hawk. I have a little hawk next to it. It'll say, current password. Hey, there's a new morning show. Current password. Hey, there's a new afternoon show. Current password. Put that password into the Password Protector newsletter. The password's updated every morning at about 9 a.m. my time. It's a one-day password, and go right into that incredible membership newsletter and go get it across the board. Password works throughout the day across the board. And get those incredible stimulus checks A, B, and C. Now, we've only done the first three checks, categories of checks. Let's continue with the checks that came from the Congress in spring of last year. Those are the incredible stimulus checks E through K. Let's look at those incredible checks right now. Stimulus check E is a beautiful $7,500 stimulus check. Love it. Stimulus check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Again, in the membership newsletter. Again, scan same eligibility. Well, then, also coming from Congress in spring of last year, still law, still funded for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories, SSI and SSDI, is G. Beautiful, 30% off. H, $2,000 stimulus check. Love it. Stimulus check I, a $8,000 stimulus check. J, an $8,000 stimulus check. And K, a $14,000 stimulus check. So those are the stimulus checks from Joe Biden by executive action ABC, 
Ida K from Congress Springer last year. And now let's go into some other stimulus checks right now. L to Q. L is $100,000 on average of a loan industry money. M, a $4,000 stimulus check. N, brand new computer. N, like Nancy. Computer, tablet, laptop. O, zero down payment and zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage. P, a beautiful 3% refi and $8,000 stimulus check is Q. So there are your 2023 stimulus checks to start. A, B, and C from Joe Biden, passed last year, still law. E to K from Congress, L to Q, thereafter. And these all have the same eligibility. They're all in the membership newsletter right now. Have you become a member? Congratulations to the nearly 100 brand new members who've joined the last 48 hours. Go into that membership newsletter right now. And these all have the same eligibility. These are stimulus checks for you. SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, anyone who managed less than 75000 last year across the board. So these checks so far have lots of different features. The checks that have the most checks actually in them, B, C, the computer and the tablet is really great at N. But I got other stimulus checks for you coming up right now, and they are a little bit different on eligibility. First, children. P-E-B-T checks are coming out from some states. If you had children had to stay home during the pandemic and you would normally have the schools provide them free meals or discounted meals, this is called P-E-B-T checks. Those checks are landing in U.S. states and U.S. territories across the board. Next up, small business stimulus checks. And this is an insane amount of money. It's stimulus check R. If you're an employee, when the pandemic hit, and you kept them on staff for all 2020 and at least one quarter of 2021, you're getting paid $26,000 per employee. That stimulus check R, the employee tax retention credit, it's in the membership newsletter, it's stimulus check R, $26,000 per employee. If you had 20 employees, it's a half a million dollars. It's brand new. It's happening right now this year. It's huge. Become a member. And then finally, unemployment stimulus, which I stay on point because guess what? Tonight in the big second half, I have more corporations laying off people again. Here we go. Step one, file the claim. Go to your state's Department of Unemployment. Step two, ask for the weekly checks. Who is this for? For anyone who's a fired W-2 employee who remains unemployed. Step one is go to your state Department of Unemployment. They're going to ask you three questions. First, what date were you fired as a W-2 employee? Put the date in. Question number two, willing to work? Yeah, of course I am. That's a mental question. Able to work? That's a physical question. Yes, absolutely. The claim will be approved, but you're not going to get paid yet because you got to do step two. At step two, it's going to ask you, do you want to check for each week that you are still a fired, unemployed W-2 employee? This is if you still remain unemployed. So you have to do each week at a time. A lot of people don't remember this. I had a lot of people who forgot this when the pandemic first hit and never got paid. You have to ask for the weekly check so long as you remain still unemployed. And that is your incredible unemployment stimulus. In the big second half, we're going to go over lots of companies that announced layoffs for W-2 employees in the last hour. You think I'm going to leave the subject matter? Of course I'm not. <laughs> That's why I care so much about you. It's all in that incredible membership newsletter. Become a member right now. And let's go over what's coming up tonight on LA Light. You're watching LA Light, now America's number two most watched financial news network in America. Isn't that feeling great? It feels just wonderful. There's three channels. LA 1, LA 2, and LA 3. LA 1's live stream starts every night at 5 o'clock in prime time. It's LA 1, prime time, 5 o'clock every night. It's America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's at LA 1 at 5 o'clock nightly. One hour earlier, we heated up on Channel 3 with Crypto Wall Street Live at 4 o'clock Pacific Side Time. The latest details on your economy, your inflation, your stocks, your crypto. It's more than just crypto. It's also what's happening tomorrow with that CPI. Then, if you just want stimulus, it's on Channel 2 every night at 6 o'clock. It's Stimulus Live across the board. Three channels, three live streams, and a lot of incredible deliciousness. In the big second half, we have a lot coming up tonight. Let's get a preview of what's coming up in that big second half tonight. First, your benefit raise could be impacted by... The CPI. And that CPI is coming out tomorrow. And will it directly impact your benefit raise? I'll explain 
yes or no. Plus, we'll be looking at some corporate earnings and why corporate spending is heating up despite recessionary issues. Next up, we'll be looking at our breakout coins and resistance levels. We had a breakout coin today, and it was Barnbridge, up a 16% all throughout the day. But we had Bitcoin right on afternoons. Did you watch the afternoon show today? Boy, it was really testing three-month levels. We do not want to go back to crypto winter. We're currently in crypto spring, but how close are we? It's getting very, very dicey. Then Michelle Bowman, one of the Fed governors, spoke about more interest rate spikes. I'll have her comments minutes ago. And we have breaking news tonight on Evenings LA that you may not have seen on mornings. It's brand new tonight. It is the latest details on upgrades for Zillow. This is a real estate story. Real estate may be coming right back very aggressively. We thought it was going into recession. It may be going the opposite direction. Great news for the real estate people. I have the latest details on the big second half. Plus, more corporate earnings coming in, potentially for Zuckerberg's group. This is a breaking news tonight. We have a lot coming up in the big second half. Plus, we'll be jumping to some live charts, and we'll be looking at the impact of this across the board. And, of course, more stimulus. Become a member. Oh, what a show we have tonight. I told you it's a great show tonight. It's just a lot going on. And congratulations to Kansas City on your great win over the weekend. Oh, what a great show we have tonight. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as more of this heats up from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Crypto Wall Street Live and the latest details on your benefit raises with that CPI. In 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA late at 9 a.m. Home LA late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues right now in the big second half of Crypto Wall Street Live on the shores of Santa Monica, California. There's a lot going on right this moment as crypto is now testing those three-month support levels. We'll be jumping into the live charts right tonight and looking at whether those three-month support levels are are in jeopardy. We'll be looking at inflationary data coming out tomorrow, and also we'll be looking at that consumer spending coming in from corporations. Meantime, we're looking at some live charts and our breakout coins, plus more interest rate spikes left and right, and some of my predictions on that CPI tomorrow for inflation and what it means for the raise of your benefits. We'll be jumping to some live charts and also the impact of this across the board. Let's look first right now at this. Decentraland, red down for the day, 63 cents right now at the moment of this broadcast, shortly after 1.30 Pacific Saturday time, the markets have just closed. Bitcoin at 21,000 right now. There's a live chart you're watching as this show is being taped. That is a little bit different than how we started the day. This is how we started the day. Bit was initially at 21,590, down 1.6% at the start of the market this morning uh, for a beautiful for a beautiful day, but Ethereum was down 3.6% initially, and Mana, the central end, down 9.23%. Let's jump into the latest details of what's happening with this market right now. In tonight's Crypto Wall Street Live tonight, we're looking at the impact of this on crypto and stocks. Remember that crypto is impacted by macroeconomics like inflation, and so is stocks. Tomorrow, the CPI is released on LLA, and it's impacting so many parts of this economy from crypto 
to stocks and also your benefit rises. What is the estimate? The estimate for tomorrow's Consumer Price Index released live on air on this channel is a 0.4% month-to-date rise for inflation, a 6.2% rise year-to-date for inflation. That's a lot of inflation. The market liked it, and the market ended up 376 points today, Monday, the day after the Super Bowl, and the NASA was up 173 points across the board. That's both about 1% left and right. Remember, the way this impacts is that if this stays this way by the summer, your benefits would go up another 6% next year across the board. This news also parlayed into both crypto, Wall Street, and real estate. With Zillow, I'll explain to you how in just a second. First, let's jump into some coins. Here is what's going on right now with some live charts right now. This live chart is shortly after the markets have closed, about 1.30 on Monday. Decentraland down, one day chart, red 63 cents. Let's jump on the live chart right now. What levels of support are we testing right now? Well, we're testing the one week levels because we're red on the one week. I'm going to click the right corner again. One month. We are almost testing one month support levels. So now I've clicked the third icon on the right. We're on Gemini, one of the platforms. And the chart is still green. It went from red to green. But how close are we to the lowest levels of the left side of the chart? Very, very close. So we are now testing nearly the one-month support level on Decentraland, 63 cents. What is that support level? Go all the way to the left side of the chart is a 59 cents. So we're four cents away from our one-month support level on Decentraland. If we break under our one-month support level on Decentraland, where are we heading? Go out to three months. Yeah. All that mess on the left is crypto winner. Where are we right now? Crypto spring, in my opinion. So we are clearly hovering right here. And the concern is if we break under those levels, we could fall all the way back to this horrible mess of crypto winner, which was 30 cents to central amp. Let's jump now into another live chart. You're seeing this live chart right after the markets close on Monday. We're now jumping into Bitcoin. One day chart, red down. The day started with Bitcoin at a 21,800, not a particularly good start. We went all the way up to 21,900, and then we went as low as 21,400. We've come off of a little bit. Let's look at the one week. We are testing our one week support levels. We're red, we're down for the one week, but how close are we to the lowest lows of the week? Almost there. Let's look at the one month. Now, we are above our one-month support level. Our one-month support level is all the way over here, like a 20,700. Let's look at the three-month support level. This is where it gets scary. Yeah. So this is something we've been talking about on this channel for over a week. We need to stay above these three-month support levels in our coins. If we don't, we fall back into crypto winter. In my opinion, we are currently in crypto spring. Where are we right now? 21,600 on bit. And if we don't hold the support level, where do we fall? Look to the left. Look at that run up. Look at that ski jump right up. If we don't hold that support level, we ski jump right back down. Right back down that hill and all the way back down to 18,000. We need to hold the support level. Take your ruler, take that ruler and draw it all the way over from 21,000. That's where we are right now. Where are we right now? 21,800. We're only $800, folks, above our support level of 3M. Upper right, 3M. We're only $800 above our three-month support level. This is getting really, really close. This is the closest we've been on our three-month support level on this channel in three months. <laughs> it's really, really close. We don't want to test the support levels because what happens? Crypto winter returns. It's too early for winter. We're in crypto spring right now, but we don't want to go back to crypto winter. We'll go right back down on that ski jump. How do you find support levels? Very simply, look to the left. Look to the last time we got to this level. Look how severe or significant we are above that support level. And if you don't see in the current chart, let's say you're at one week, then go out to three month, which we just did. Let's go to one year, get more significance of this across the board. Yeah, now you see the significance of the one year. At that significance of the one year, we're almost testing the one year lows again. We need to stay above those support levels left and right. Let's jump over into Decentraland to get a sense of it with another coin. Just use the same skill set. We're training ourselves how to do this. You can do the same thing with stocks. So we're at three months support level. The lowest level of Decentraland, three months is 29 cents. Where are we right tonight? We're at 63 cents. 
So let's go into the one month chart. Are we supporting on one month to central line? Yes, we're green. We're above our support level one month. The lowest lows of the one month has been all the way over here at about, you know, 59 cents. So we're only three cents above our, our, our one month support level on mana, on Decentraline. Three cents. I mean, this is really close, folks. Four cents. And if we don't hold that, then where do we go? You pull out to three months. You go out a little bit further in the past. And you can ski jump all the way back down to this hideous mess of crypto winter. So we're getting really, really close. Let's look at some breakout coins today. What are we doing with breakout coins? What we do with breakout coins on this channel is we detail coins that have the potential to give you an earn inc an income return in a 24-hour position. We're not buying and holding. This is not an investment vehicle. This is the opportunity to see something that is breaking out and giving it a 16%, 15%, 18%, 20% return on our, uh, an income return in the last 24 hours. What are we doing? First, we're looking for a coin that is over 20, 30, 40, 50 cents. But I prefer a coin over a dollar. I prefer a coin even more expensive. Number two, I want a coin that is up double digits, and I prefer a coin over 15% return at the moment. We're looking at the one-day move, the one-day move. Finally, what is our approach? Our approach is to get in and get out in less than 24 hours and make a 15% return on our position on a coin that's anywhere from 20 cents to $5. The more expensive the coin, the better I like it because it's less risky. And I would do it with the same coin if it does in multiple days or potentially multiple times in the same day. I just want to make my return and get in and out. I'm not holding it as an investment vehicle. Now, let's look at some of those numbers across the board. Here's Barn Bridge up a 16% right now. How can you find these coins? You jump into a platform like a Gemini. Let me show you the skill set of how this works right now. So I'm in the chart with you right now. Here's Gemini. We're going to go over the third column. We're going to click it, and we're going to rank the coins worst performing. They're now all red. Let's click the third column again. Now we're ranking the coins based upon best performing. So there you see our breakout coin. It is still the second best performing coin right now. It was the best performing coin earlier today. Now it's the second best performing coin. What type of coin parameters do I'm looking for? One, I like a coin over a dollar. Even better if it's more expensive. I don't like a coin under 20 cents. Number two, I like a coin over 15% right now. Even higher. And finally, I like a coin that I remember that I did this before with. Because a lot of these coins have repeated the process. I'm going in and I'm going out. I'm not holding. I'm not using it as an investment vehicle. I'm just trying to make a return on my money, 15%. I'm not being greedy. I'm getting in and getting out across the board. Some days I have three coins. Some days I have no opportunity. Some days I have one coin. How do you find these coins? Here. How do you find them as a member? They're in the membership newsletter. Every morning, the membership newsletter for you as a member is updated. And that membership newsletter is... Every morning features new breakout coins. I call them your breakout coins. I always try to feature three, but sometimes there's not three. Today there's only, really only one, this one. I also try to feature the latest coins that give us guidance, and this is how the day started. Market generally down, that's in the membership newsletter. Become a member because this is how people are learning and earning so well. It's all in there in that beautiful membership newsletter. Go right in this video, join LI3, which you're watching right now. There's that membership newsletter. Grab the password from the most recent post for members on LI3 and go right into that incredible membership newsletter and get those huge sums of money across the board. Now let's look at some of the other details we're detailing in the big second half, which is the Wall Street part of Crypto Wall Street tonight. The Consumer Price Index is released tomorrow on LLA, and the estimate is that it's going to be a rise for the month, 0.4%, and a 6.2% rise for the year. Corporations are reporting more consumer spending despite any type of recessionary issues. But what am I looking tomorrow to see and what is not that hard to predict? <laughs> Bad refereeing in a game? Yeah, that's pretty easy to predict. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to let that go. Uh, tomorrow, you're likely to see the following elements of inflation in the CPI report. Wage inflation, real estate inflation, and also salary inflation. You're likely not to see 
grocery inflation. Grocery inflation is fine being wiped away, but the Federal Reserve does not really have a tight grip on the real estate market. And so the real estate inflation, the landlord inflation, uh, the salary inflation is still much there. And that's why those numbers are actually quite positive, even though um, Brussels sprouts and chocolate Sugar-free chocolate cake has come down dramatically. Aren't you, aren't you happy, Bob? <laughs> it's, just, it's just really quite surprising. Investors are looking forward to the Consumer Price Index data tomorrow. It'll be featured live on air. And again, the markets liked what it saw going into tomorrow's data. And that's where the markets ended up so dramatically based on those numbers. First, let's go over what they're looking and expecting for tomorrow. They're looking for this. A estimate of the inflation going up month to dump. And year-to-date, 6.2%. That's a long way to 2%. Remember, the Federal Reserve, once again, inflation to 2%. We're still at 6.2%. The Dow ended up 376 and also the Nasdaq up 173 today. Based upon the belief that they're excited with what's going on so far, what did Michelle Bowman say based upon the data before the markets were closed today? Michelle Bowman, one of the Fed governors, spoke about the inflationary push and pull. And she said that, there's a lot more work to be done. Surprised by her comments? Of course not across the board. Let's look at some of the details uh, left and right and what corporations are looking at tonight for some of these details. First, we have some corporations saying that spending is great despite any recessionary concern. Here's a series of quotes from corporation releases in the last 48 hours. And I'll go over the corporations and their quotes right now. They all repeat the same expression. Consumer spending remains resilient. MasterCard. Consumer spending remains resilient from an overall consumer spending standpoint. We expect the consumer to be relatively resilient despite pandemic patterns left and right. Ralph Lauren. Our core consumer remains quite resilient across all channels. That's Ralph Lauren as well in new comments. Kellogg. Faster. Kellogg, the breakfast cereal company. The consumer eye space remains resilient. Kimberly Clark. Remains resilient. Clorox remains resilient. And it continues left and right across the board. Now, Michelle Bowman spoke about the situation today. And what did she say? She's one of the Fed governors. Fed Reserve Governor Bowman said that we are still far from achieving price stability. And I expect that we need, this, need further tightening to bring it down to our goal. Those comments came in today from the American Bankers Conference in Orlando, Florida, obtained by Light News. She, again, is looking for a 2% inflationary rate. And we're not there anywhere close yet. While there are costs associated with it, we have to persist across the board. So clearly, we're not going to see 2% inflation tomorrow at all. And what's important to understand is that there is some rebounding tonight that we did not even see on morning's broadcast. Let's go into some of this data. And this is brand new tonight. Some of this, uh, some of these reports coming in just minutes ago that I did not even have on mornings, and some of them even came in after since afternoon's broadcast, which is brand new today as well. Evercore ISI is upgrading Zillow Real Estate Group. Why? They say Zillow could go up 40%. They believe the stock could go up 40% because we're on a rapid recovery of the housing market. My goodness. That's why I could watch the show. I'm shocked by this one. We're in a significant part make uh, part ma ma macro uh, environment right now where recovery will move very quickly, says analyst Mark Mahoney in a note obtained by Live News. The other major story tonight, of course, is those layoffs. More layoffs are coming because that is what is guiding keeping things trim in 2023. I want to make this very clear tonight. When you hear layoffs in 2023 on this channel, it does not mean recession. It means corporations trying to have more profitability in 2023. And you're hearing it tonight. Meta announced... Uh, recent layoffs, 11,000 November, but Financial Times today reported Meta will announce another 3% layoff, which will equate to 13% of its entire staff, and that will be another 2,500 employees on, as an additional group of employees on top of the 2,500 employees that are coming to the unemployment line at Ford. Ford is stock was up 2% on the day when it expected to uh, to lay off a uh, to more employees across the board on that front. It's a familiar messaging that happens left and right. Twilio rose 2% today after it announced additional layoffs as well. Twilio had announced plan to cut a 70% of its workforce, or roughly 1,500 employees, and then it was up 2% on the news when 
It was going to lay off more employees on top of the 8,900 layoff last September across the board. The comments came in from CEO Jeff Lawson, obtained by LA News, says these changes hurt, but the weeks ahead will process these situations left and right. Meantime, Back America upgraded Ralph Lauren said, we're confident that Ralph Lauren will build on cutting costs. Very, very familiar subject matter. Tonight, more shows throughout three channels. Are you going to be there? I'll be looking for you. On Channel One, the excitement starts every night at 5 o'clock in prime time on L8 One. It's America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's at 5 o'clock. It's LA Live. One hour earlier, the excitement starts on Crypto Wall Street Live on Channel Three. It's at 4 o'clock Pacific Time. You may be watching it right now. And then Stimulus Live every night at 6 o'clock on Channel Two. Everything all about incredible stimulus. Three channels, three live streams. Four o'clock, Crypto Wall Street Live, channel three. Five o'clock, Stimulus, five o'clock, LA Live on channel one. And then on channel two at six o'clock is Stimulus Live. Become a member. The membership newsletter features now more than ever before. Features all your incredible money, all your incredible charts, your guidance, your numbers, no breath of coverage is featured anything like this anywhere else in American landscapes tonight. And that's why Allied has proudly moved into the number two position in American financial broadcasting with three channels across the board. Thank you for nearly the 100 brand new members who have joined in this channel in the last 48 hours. Become a member. That membership news are featured more than ever before for the same original price. And it's all there tonight. From the shores of San Marcos, California, stay informed, stay focused. As always, stay in my life for more.